Hey everyone, back in the car again. I'm not an Uber driver. I promise, I'm not an Uber driver. It's just peaceful in here. I don't get interrupted. So today I'm gonna to give you three tips, three tips on how you can make calorie counting for fat loss work for you and to become less of a drag because we all know plugging those meals into MyFitnessPal is a pain in the ass. Um, so three tips on how to make that less painful and hopefully have your a little bit more flexibility in, in your life. So let's say for instance that you need to eat 2,000 calories a day based on your current activity level to lose weight. It's possible but it's a drag to be thinking that okay I've got to eat 2,000 calories more or less on the dot every single day because it doesn't take into account the ebbs and flows of life that some days we naturally eat more other days we naturally eat less okay so what I recommend as the first step is to forget about looking at your daily total but instead look at your weekly total as an average so if it's 2,000 calories on average so that could mean that you're eating 1500 calories some days 2500 or 3000 calories other days as long as one you add up all the days divide them by seven you get to 2000 calories overall you're winning so that's the first tip i use the same principle with getting 10,000 steps a day some days i might only get six but other days i get 12 as long as it evens out to roughly 10,000 over the course of the week i'm golden okay next tip is to embrace dietary boredom particularly for meals like breakfast and lunch okay if you do that by doing that variety is overrated mostly you'll eat the same breakfast every day mostly you'll eat the same lunch or one of two lunches every day so weigh those up plug them into my fitness pal as a meal so every time that you go to have that meal you'll probably know what you're having when you get up in the morning eating your breakfast you can plug in your breakfast and lunch for the day and you don't have to do the individual items that way you can just plug in that exact meal okay so that's tip number two embracing dietary boredom I'd go so far as to say if you're wanting to lose fat loss and wanting to get rid of the decision fatigue that comes with it also think about cycling your dinners maybe have four to five dinners that you cycle through through the week okay and again plug them in as a meal because it's going to save you having to, to do the pain in the butt process of, of putting in the individual ingredients when they're, they're they're exactly the same every time you eat that meal anyway okay and then the the final and the third tip is to do with how you set up your week of eating in my fitness pal going back to that original point about weekly averages most people their diets come undone on the weekend they might be happily hitting 2000 calories every single day but then they get to the weekend and they have a blowout and then on monday they wonder why they haven't lost any weight so what i suggest is for food tracking start your calendar week on a friday right before the weekend okay so you're tracking your food friday saturday sunday so by the time you get to Monday, you're gonna have a very clear view of how many calories you've got left if you wanna hit that 2,000 calorie average, how many calories you have left between Monday and Thursday. If it's only 250 calories left a day, you know that you've gotta do some major adjustment. I'm not suggesting that you should eat 250 calories a day. You're gonna to have to eat a normal sort of meal, but it's going to allow you to make better decisions, better lesson from the lessons learned there about what you do next weekend that you won't quite overindulge so much so you have more wiggle room through the week. So those are the three tips again. Use the law of averages there. It's what you eat over the course of a week is, which is much more important than what you eat on a daily day and allows you for the fluctuations of life. Two is to embrace dietary boredom. Plug those two or three meals in to MyFitnessPal so you don't have to do the work every single time. And then three is think about starting your calendar week for dietary logging on the weekend on a Friday so that you're more accountable with your food choices over the weekend so that you still have wiggle room left from Monday to Thursday so hope this helped out guys um, I'll be back with another video soon if you dug it uh, click like share it with anyone who may benefit ciao